All right, off to a fun-filled day of being around the camper and going hiking. Jump. All right, mommy. What's the most stressful thing about hiking with two dogs and a toddler, and then another toddler? Uh, snakes. Keeping an eye out for snakes and ticks. Not the fact that the dogs all twirl up and Augie goes crazy and he hasn't napped or eaten properly today. He decided he didn't really want much for breakfast. Yeah. But yeah, I think in general, mine is just snakes and ticks. My most stressful part is trying to shoot video while a toddler and a dog is both begging your attention. Buddy, do you really want that? <laughs> well, there is one of the stress <laughs> points right there. It's called Augie. You're proving our point. Yeah. All right, let's let's grow. Drop it. That's how you get buggy. Let's roll, bud. What does Jed ask you to do? Why'd you wear boots on a hike? Can you hold the map, please? Yeah. Thank you. So I have the wheel to go. Ellie, you want any more water? You want more water? How many horses can we count? Three! Uh, I say that looks confusing, but we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five. There's if you five look over there, horses. there's more. <gasps> and there's more horses over there? Wow. They're really hard to see, though. It's that or it's a pony. I feel like a big old boy. You're going to ride the bigger horse? Yep. Flower on the head? Yep, it's a pony. You'll find a flower for me. Okay. So you need to find a flower for mommy and mommy needs to find a flower for you? Yep. All right. Mommy's going off to the children of the corn. Can't wait to see. We're going to the water? We'll see what we can find. Oh, what is that? A chicken. That's a killer? It is. <laughs> you like saying that during every one of those shots, huh? No, he... Yeah. What'd you say? I'm going on another hike. When? Who's going to go with you? 
Um, can you get a yo-yo? Oh, okay. One, two, three, go! Whoa! Good job, high five. Allie, do you look like a hobo? Got to carry your pots and pans with you? Yeah. You broke it. for that hike and all Augie wants to do now is uh, sit in the truck in the AC for some reason. It's, it, he acts like Florida's hot or something. Rusty the Grand Lakes Kitty. What was that? You're going to go on a boat to catch them? We don't want to crash the, catch the trees. That's what daddy has. We got a kayak. This is one of my favorite parts of why, when we get to go camping and stuff like that, especially if we're on a lake or something like that, being able to come out here and shoot the sunrise and just sit out here and enjoy it. And it's definitely a lot of fun being able to see. This place has an insane amount of birds. I cannot believe how many birds are out here. But uh, so it's been a lot of fun. Got up super early. And I uh, came out here and it was definitely worth it. It was the last day, so last chance. Daddy always has the solutions. Augie didn't want to get up this morning out of his trailer, so we're improvising. Mommy says she likes the fact that Augie's in a trailer any one time he's near alligator water. Containment. Yeah. yeah, I prefer him to be in a bubble. After one week of living in the RV, basically, with uh, just me and Augie for the first half, and then with Stephanie, definitely uh, learned we could actually do full-time RV in this uh, rig. It's really not any different than what you fill at the house, really. But uh, the biggest thing is obviously the bathroom's smaller, stuff like that. Augie can't turn on the light in the bathroom, so I do have to put a night light in there for him at night. But he also likes the light on. But we uh, we're definitely not going full-time in this unless we somehow something changes. But uh where uh, it was nice to spend a week and kind of see what it'd be like to live and go to work and everything out of the camper. 
but uh, we just had to organize mommy a little bit more. She, uh, she she's not quite there for the small space because she she has got a lot of stuff. But uh, yep. So cooking some breakfast, getting ready to rock and roll and hitch up. thing I gotta remember is Stephanie is new still to camping she's not used to it I always we have a crazy toddler going around and we're trying to keep up with him so what load up days I need to remember to go through even though she's done a check he's yanking at her sleeves the whole time and wanting to this wanting that and she's trying to keep him away from me while I'm dumping the tanks and so like there's things that always get missed like we pulled off the dog I that nimble system has a water moisture meter on it and it let me know there was water in the camper i guess we didn't dump the dog bowl and i thought about it we had a bottle of wine in the cabinets that probably wouldn't have made the trip home but uh luckily i thought about it before we pulled out and it's all good so yeah so that, that's a tip if you got toddlers and you're trying to camp use a rig pick one person that's the one person that's responsible goes through figures everything else because that's what i really am but i was trying to I'd let her do the inside of the day and with him helping her it so much harder when you have a toddler wanting to help <laughs> so that's just a little advice there well we spent a week here at grand lakes we also spent the weekend that's what you're catching now so if uh you want to see more of our rv adventures the uh link will be over here for a playlist of all our rv stuff and if you want to see our oldest and newest i will put that link right there all right we'll catch you guys next week